The following training is sponsored by the Niagara Library System. We serve our member libraries in Niagara, Orleans, and Genesee counties. Please visit your local library homepage and use your library card to get access to streaming videos, downloadable music, audiobooks, ebooks, and even more from the comfort of your own home. Thank you. Hello. Welcome back, everyone. I got a great email from Julie. Hi, how are you doing? And very nice email with a couple of attachments on there. Now, attachments are, of course, those, those little things you can stick on emails that maybe you've created yourself, uh, whether they're flyers, whether they're like actual letters or notes, things like that. Uh, pictures are a very common attachment to uh, any email. And these two particular attachments, which you can actually see here on the screen, um, were one says save the date and one says uh, that it's a meeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the one that says save the date. And surprisingly, there's no preview available. Now usually, nowadays, most of the computer systems actually get along with one another. Um, 10 years ago or more, uh, Apple didn't want to talk with Microsoft, Microsoft didn't want to talk with anybody, and Android 10 years ago was just starting off, so they were the little guy on the block, and now they're everywhere. And it, holy cow, yes, yeah. so it was, it was a big wrangling mess. And when you have some of the older computers or when you have certain things like this at, and they, they pop up, you might confuse a few people, okay? So let me show you something that for whatever reason, I'm not sure how this happened, but for whatever reason, all the computer companies decided that they, that means Microsoft and Apple were the two big guys, and then like I mentioned, Android didn't really come about until about 2008. Microsoft and Apple decided that they were going to allow their computers to read or display what are called PDFs. That's Portable Document Format. This is a, a format that was done by Adobe and you can still use it today. When this popped up, what there's a couple things I noticed. First of all, I would need to go ahead and download it. Okay, that's one thing and that's fine. I already did that. But the second thing that actually c catches my eye is this where it says .pub. The .pub up here is what's called the file extension, and the file extension is what tells the computer system what program to use to actually read this file so we can see it. PUB is for publisher, right? So when I downloaded it, let me go ahead and open up. And this is what I see. Cool, there's a job fair coming up in Orleans, wonderful, on October uh, 20th, so save that date, okay? But the problem with this is, is that although I can open it and I can see it, and this is fantastic information and I'd love to have it, if I didn't have publisher on this computer, for example, if I was at home and I was on my laptop, I don't own publisher. Well, I wouldn't be able to open this up and see it and get this information. So let me show you something that you can do to make sure that all the people who receive your attachments in your email, all those people can open it up and they can read it. And better yet, they can't make any changes to your file. Let me just be clear, this is what I opened up, this is my the attachment that I received, okay? If I received this and I didn't have publisher, there would be nothing I could do about it. In order for everybody to be able to read it, now let's flip over from being the email receiver to now the email sender. Before, let's say this was mine, and I want to send it out, and it looks great, and this is fine, and I want everybody to be able to see it, and I want them to be able to print it if they want, I want them to set the flyers all over, I want them to be able to forward the email to whomever they like, and all of those people actually see the email as well. When you're sending an email, when you're sending an attachment, before you send an attachment like this, go ahead, save your file, get it all set, get it nice, and so it looks really nice like this one does. Once you have your flyer set up in Publisher, and you can do this, Microsoft Office allows you to do this in Publisher, you can do this with Word, you can do it with Excel, and you can even do these with PowerPoint as well. Let me show you what I mean. 
You have this all set up. What you can do is go right up to the left hand corner and click on file. Now there's two different ways that I know of to create a PDF file type. That is that portable document format that's readable by everybody. Two different ways. Number one, we can go to save as and we can change the file type. Or number two, we can go to export and actually export the publisher file over to PDF. The end result of both are the same. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to click on Save As. I am going to uh, pick a place to save this. So I'm just going to, for now, I'm going to shove it on my desktop because that's where I put things that are uh, I might not need again uh, because I have these now in my email. And when I go, let me move this box a little bit. Uh, so I can see that it's going to go to my desktop and uh, it says the file name is save the date dot pub and the file type right here are publisher files that remember that that is what the program is that will open it not everybody has publisher so what we want to do is change it to a more common file type so what I'm going to do is place my mouse there I'm going to click right on it and if we go right down here just ignore all the rest of them what we really want is the PDF format. So I'm going to click on PDF and you can see the name of it is save the date dot PDF and I'm going to tell it to save. And there was a little flash on the screen and we hopped right back to publisher. Let's go to the desktop and figure out where it is and how it's going to open. Okay, so when I went back to my desktop I went ahead, saw the little icon that was on the screen, double clicked it, and here it is. And you can see the name of the file looks a little weird, but that's okay, it still opens. But importantly, this does open as a PDF, and uh, my PDF reader happens to be Microsoft Edge. You might have Adobe Reader. You might have some other uh, PDF reader on your computer. Again, PDFs are the most universal of file types. Okay? And this can be printed. It can be forwarded to other people. Everybody can read it so they can open it up on their screen. Also, PDFs are uh, scalable. So it doesn't matter how big or how little your screen is, you can open them, you can close them up, you can see, you know, pinch to zoom in and that and see what the details are on the flyer. That's one way to do this. Let's go back. I'm going to go back to Publisher and let me show you just the export piece. Here we are back in Publisher. Looks pretty much the same. That's very good. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to File on the left hand side and instead of going to Save As, which is what we did before, I'm going to go to export. And when I click on export, you see the first one that is actually um, highlighted is create PDF or XPS document. The and you can see if you're not sure what an XPS document is, uh, it's something that Microsoft created. I'll try and find what it means and stick it on the screen here somewhere. Um, XPS was something that I think Microsoft created to compete with PDFs, and then it's pretty much abandoned. But uh, you can see that if you do create a PDF, it preserves your fonts, your formatting, and your images. Content cannot be easily changed, and there are free viewers on the web. So it tells you right there. So if I go ahead and click this little button here, it goes right back, and let me again move this. Instead of Save As, it says Publish As, and it's changed it to a PDF. And instead of saving, I can quote unquote publish it. It's the same idea as saving it. Uh, just remember when you're up here in your address bar, the last spot on this trail, this is where you are saving to. So this is the pathway and this is where I would be publishing to is actually my downloads folder on this computer. So I'm not publishing it like to the web or anything else. So it's still mine. I could make changes to it uh, if I wanted. But remember, when you're doing a PDF type format, anything like this, you want to make sure that you are just doing this to your final attachment, your final file. 
when you're playing around with it, when you're saving it, when you're editing it and changing it all around and then you know moving things, you keep saving it as a publisher file and when you're happy with your final format, you would then go to either save as and change to PDF or you can go to export and save as or publish as a PDF and everybody when they get the email, everybody will be able to read your stuff and see it. Thank you. I hope this was useful and um, I, we'll see you again next time. <laughs> Bye now.